Greetings to everyone who is ever watching this video. We kind of uh, interested in publishing a case report about a patient with cystic fibrosis who was started on Orkambi therapy. Many practicing physicians encountering the patient with cystic fibrosis that have been started on Orkambi has been noticing the chest wall pain and difficulty breathing in those patient groups. We think addition of Orkambi to Palmazine or other bronchodilator treatments making the secretions very thin, sliding into distal air spaces, causing either blockage, which can cause discomfort or dyspnea, and also chest pain due to a stretch on the airways. Palmazine itself is a good mucolytic therapy. Addition of Orkambi, which can increase cell surface water on bronchial epithelial cells, contributing more water to the secretions, which makes them very thin. As long as the patient is able to expect the sputum very easily, they may not experiencing those two symptoms. But if the sputum volume very large and very thin and clearance is inadequate, there is a very good possibility of draining of this thin mucus into distal air spaces. We have seen this adverse effects of chest pain and difficulty breathing occurring as early as one week and we have seen as late as six months. So it will be interesting to know for the people who are using the Orkambi, the people who started in Orkambi, if they're coming to the hospital with the dyspnea and chest pain, they don't necessarily have acute exacerbation of cystic fibrosis. It may be very well related to the therapy, especially Orkambi to other regimens. Thank you.